We have the latest on the investigation coming up next. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Saturday night. I'm BM Roberts. Multiple families are without homes tonight after a large fire broke out at a Mount Pleasant apartment complex. Tonight, the apartment and the Red Cross are working together to help place these families as soon as possible. News 2's Danielle Seda was on scene this afternoon and tells us more about the investigation. Tonight, there's at least 21 Harbor Point apartment residents homeless after a fire destroyed a 14-unit building. So now, officials are trying to figure out how the fire started and what the displaced residents will do long term. We were coming over the bridge and we saw smoke and uh, we were like, we're, dang, is that going yeah, to be our place? Yeah, this can't be like our place. And then we got closer than we saw it was actually our place. This is what residents living in the Harbor Point Apartments came home to on Saturday afternoon. A plume of black smoke and Mount Pleasant police blocking the entrance. It's kind of inconvenient not being able to go to your house. Around 2.30, Mount Pleasant fire crews responded to a structure fire at the Harbor Point Apartments. Crews spent an hour battling that blaze that devastated stated 14 units and displaced 20 people. The pain just to see this, we hate to see this happen when an apartment fire happens like this, you've got multiple families that are impacted. I, you know, care a lot about my tenants and a lot about what's going on, so it's going to be very difficult. Property manager Anson Seaman says officials rescued a father and his two children and a cat. Seaman tells me the fire was finally put out around 3.30, but the challenge now is making sure that her homeless residents are taken care of. We do have some vacant units that I will see if we can get them in as soon as possible, but it will be a process. The Red Cross tells me that they are offering financial assistance to residents impacted by the fire. They are also working on temporary living arrangements for those affected. In studio, Danielle Seda, Count On 2.